Hi students, welcome back again to another episode of learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang slope of a tangent line to a curve. Okay, so itong lesson na ito ay intended para magkaroon ka ng initial definition kung ano bang ibig sabihin ng derivative of a function or derivative as a rate of change. Meron naman tayong shortcut sa pagkuha ng slope of a tangent line to a curve pero as grade 11 students, kailangan magkaroon ka muna ng initial definition kung ano ba talagang ibig sabihin ng derivative of a function. So let's start with finding the slope of a tangent line to the curve given f of x is equal to 4 minus x square at x is equal to 1. Okay, so let's say we have this illustration of the curve f of x is equal to 4 minus x square that is a graph of quadratic function that opens downward. And then we have the tangent line Okay, at x is equal to 1. Okay, bakit ako nagkaroon dito ng 3? I just evaluated uh, f of x is equal to 4 minus x square at x is equal to 1. So, we have f of 1 is equal to 4 minus uh, 1 square is equal to 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. So, kaya tayo nagkaroon ng point of tangency na 1 comma 3. Okay, so ngayon, paano natin kukunin ang slope ng tangent line? Di ba kapag kukunin natin ang slope, we have the formula m is equal to uh, y sub 1 minus y sub 2 over x sub 1 minus x sub 2. Okay, ang kaso, wala tayong other point ng tangent line kundi ito lamang 1 comma 3. So para makuha natin yung slope ng tangent line, Nag-draw ako ng second line na nagpa-pass through sa point of tangency and any point in the graph wherein we have x, f of x. Okay? Wherein x, f of x is any point in the graph. Para magkaroon tayo ng estimate kung ano ba ang uh, slope ng tangent line na ito. Ngayon, paano ba natin kukunin ang slope ng second line na nagpa-pass through sa point of tangency and x, f of x? Okay? So, we have m is equal to y sub 1, let's say we have f of x minus uh, 3 okay, so ito yung y sub 2 over x sub 1 which is x and then minus 1 okay, so we have f of x is equal to 4 minus x square so 4 minus x square minus 3 over x minus 1 is equal to 4 minus 3 is 1 minus x square over x minus 1. So, we have m is equal to 1 minus x square all over x minus 1. Ngayon, paano natin i-estimate yung slope ng tangent line to the given curve? Okay? So, kailangan yung point natin sa curve ay maging pinakamalapit dito sa point of tangency para magkaroon tayo ng a nearest estimate ng slope ng tangent line. Okay? So, kapag kasi lumapit itong point dito sa graph na ito, uh, magkakaroon tayo ng halos parehong slope sa tangent line. So, paano natin kukunin iyon? Babalik tayo sa definition ng limit of a function. So, kukunin natin ang limit ng slope as it approaches to the point of tangency wherein x here is equal to 1 para makuha natin yung slope. So, we have m is equal to limit of this function, the slope. So, we have 1 minus x square all over x minus 1 as x approaches 1. We have, uh, to find the limit of this function, kailangan lang natin i-evaluate siya wherein x is equal to 1. At tingnan natin kung siya ay indeterminate. So, kapag naipalit natin ito, so we have 1 minus 1 square over 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 over 0 wherein uh, indeterminate siya. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan nating magtanggal ng common factor. So, we have uh, 1 minus x times 1 plus x over x minus 1. Okay, so ito ay factors ng 1 minus x square. And then, we have uh, negative 1 Okay, times Negative 1 times dito So we have x minus 1 Times x plus 1 1 plus x, binaligtad ko na siya Over x minus 1 para makancel ito Then we have negative x plus 1 And then ipalit natin yung 1 So m is equal to negative quantity 1 plus 1 So the slope of the tangent line to the curve is Negative 2 Why the slope? 
of the line tangent to the curve f of x is equal to 4 minus x square at x is equal to 1 is equal to negative 2. Okay? Ngayon, bumuo tayo ng formula para makuha ka agad yung slope ng tangent line to a curve at some point wherein x is equal to a. Babalikan natin itong uh, ginawa natin. Okay? So, f of x, so m is equal to f of x minus, paano natin nakuha yung 3 rito? Okay, so para makuha yung 3 rito, we evaluated the function at x is equal to a. Therefore, we have here f of a all over x minus, ano yung 1? We have a, wherein x is equal to a. Okay, so ito yung ating formula ng slope. At para makuha mismo yung slope ng tangent line to the curve, we get m is equal to limit of f of x minus f of a all over x minus a as x approaches a. Okay, so this gives us the slope of the tangent line to a curve at x is equal to a. Let's work on the following examples to apply the formula to find the slope of a tangent line to a curve. Number one, find the slope of a tangent line to the curve y is equal to x cubed minus 2x plus 3 at x is equal to 2. So una, kunin muna natin yung f of a. So yung y is equal to f of x din naman. So f of a, wherein a is equal to 2, is equal to 2 cubed minus 2 times 2 plus 3 is equal to 8 minus 4 plus 3 is equal to 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Ipalit natin siya rito. So, m is equal to limit of f of x. We have x cubed minus 2x plus 3. Okay, minus f of a which is 7 over x minus a which is 2. Okay, as x approaches 2. So, is equal to limit of x cubed minus 2x minus 4 all over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. Next, i-factor muna natin yung numerator. So, we have m is equal to limit of x plus 1 quantity square times x minus 2 all over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. So, mapapansin natin na mayroon silang common factor. Ibig sabihin, indeterminate siya kapag ipinalit natin. So, cancelin na lang muna natin iyon. And then, we evaluate m at x is equal to 2. So, m is equal to uh, quantity x plus 1 square. And then, ipalit natin yung 2. So, we have 2 plus 1 square is equal to 3 square is equal to Nine. Therefore, the slope of the tangent line to the curve is 9. Okay? So, next example number 2. What is the equation of the tangent line to the curve? Y is equal to 2x cubed minus 4x at x is equal to 1. So, para makuha natin yung equation of the tangent line, kailangan muna natin kunin ang slope. Okay? So, evaluate the function at x is equal to negative 1. So, f of negative 1 is equal to 2 times negative 1 cubed minus 4 times negative 1 is equal to 2 times negative 1 plus 4 is equal to negative 2 plus 4 is equal to 2. Okay, so therefore, the point of tangency is at negative 1 comma 2. Bakit ko kinuha yung point of tangency? Dahil ang kinukuha ay equation of the line. Ito ang kailangan natin mamaya para makuha siya. Okay, then get the slope of the line. So, m is equal to limit of f of x so 2x cubed minus 4x okay that is f of x and then minus f of a is 2 minus 2 over x minus a which is negative 1 kaya magiging plus 1 na ito as x approaches negative 1 okay so is equal to uh, limit of 2 times we have x cubed minus 2x minus 1 over x plus 1 as x approaches negative 1. is equal to, i-factor muna natin yung x cubed minus 2x minus 1. So we have limit of 2 times the quantity x plus 1 times the quantity x squared minus x minus 1 all over x plus 
1. Okay, so as x approaches negative 1. Since may makakancel tayong factor, ibig sabihin yan, indeterminate siya. Kailangan lang natin siyang i-eliminate and then evaluate the remaining function at x is equal to negative 1. Okay, so we have uh, m is equal to 2 times the quantity x square minus x minus 1. Cancel ito. I-evaluate natin siya at x is equal to negative 1. So, m is equal to 2 times negative 1 square minus negative 1 minus 1 is equal to 2 times uh, 1 plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So, the slope of the line is equal to 2. Then, para makuha natin ang equation of the line, given the slope and the point, we have to use the formula y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. Wherein, uh, we have the point negative 1, 2, x sub 1, y sub 1. So, we have y minus 2 is equal to the slope of the line, 2 times the quantity x minus x sub 1, kaya magiging x plus 1 na ito. Then, we have y is equal to 2x plus 2. Ilipat natin yung 2 sa kabila, kaya magiging plus 2. Then, y is equal to 2x plus 4. So, this is the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. Let's go back to the equation. m is equal to limit of f of x minus f of a all over x minus a as x approaches a. So, kunin natin itong part na ito. So, f of x minus f of a all over x minus a. A. Bakit tayo rito nagkaroon ng change in y over change in x? So, f of x minus f of a describes the change in y and then x minus a describes the change in x. And change in y over change in x describes the average rate of change or the instantaneous rate of change at x is equal to a. Okay, so kapag pinag-usapan natin ang instantaneous rate of change, we are talking of the derivative of the function. Again, derivative is all about the rate of change. How the dependent variable changes with respect to the changes in the independent variable. Actually, when we get the slope of the tangent line to a curve, we are already getting the value of the derivative of the function at x is equal to a. Okay, so sa susunod na lesson, pag-uusapan natin ang general equation or kung paano i-derive ang general equation ng slope of a tangent line to a curve. Okay, kasi nga, iyon na yun. Pumupunta na tayo sa pinakang definition ng derivative at kung saan-saan ba natin ginagamit itong derivative na ito.